I'm good. Hello. All right. So <clears throat> today I got one of these. I couldn't find any more because I would have bought more. Just reading the label for Shiner. So Shiner's are okay. They're very enjoyable. Um, uh, bulk beers really started them off uh, before everybody really had it everywhere. So people used to drive out of their way from Austin over there and pick up as much as they could so they can come back and share with their friends because they just loved it so much. It was just something different. And honestly, it's, I'm glad they're still around. They do make some good, unique beers. And this one is called Brewer's Pride. It is a Shiner that's in an uh, Balcones bourbon. It's just whiskey on someone, but I think it's bourbon. I'm not sure, but it's definitely made in Texas. Their key thing that makes them different is they use blue corn. And honestly, it makes a, a beautiful, a subtle difference as you sip on it it opens up a little more has a little more flavor going from the blue corn because yellow and white are just common we're used to them they do have a quite a bit of sugars the white uh, corn does have more sugar to it so it does contribute a lot more flavor than you would think that's the one that garrison brothers uses uh, for the blue i'm not sure how much sugar it is but i imagine it's enough for them to make very good bourbon so i'm not even arguing with that so it's limited edition if i would have seen the six pack trust me i would have grabbed it i don't know when it came out, how I missed it, what's going on. So I'm sad because I'm probably gonna enjoy this, but let's see what happens. All right, so let's give it a nice, beautiful pour. Oh, it's looking a little lighter. Yeah, I definitely changed the color to be a little bit less. And give this a nice little readout, hold on. So yeah, when they're barreled age, they tend to look a little more flat, but they're definitely thriving and kicking, so. Oh, beautiful. So, looking at a collaboration with Balcones Distilling in Waco. This barreled age, Bach uses a medley of roasted specialty malts for a rich, nutty flavor. Aging in Balcones single malt whiskey barrels import, uh, yeah, imparts robust notes of oak, brown sugar, vanilla for a long, complex finish. Already, it smells very vibrant, but very like woody, uh, caramelly, vanilla, all that darkness all that yeah like toasty roasty goodness just wow and it's still fizzing it's still going but definitely the color is not as dark as the buck normally comes like it's been sitting around so it uh probably a lot of that ended up settling down and it's got more of the tannins and beautiful oak flavor and the whiskey Ooh. so unlike the other ones that are very dark and dense this has all those complexities of those super uh, barrel aged stouts but very open mm. and almost sunshiny like vanilla and it's just uh like the, you can get more of the maltiness and the toastiness and it just rises up on the taste buds huh it's like lemon vanilla pancake a little bit more yeah you get the a slight citrus so i'm getting i'm guessing I mean, i'm really trying to see uh more of the beer that we would be covered up by the darker part of the bock is now released and with the gaining of the whiskey and the oak and all that it really amplified some of it so it is it does have almost a concept that reminds you of like pound cake straight up i get that immediately so this is definitely if you see it rabbit it's not going to be super heavy uh, normally it, they come out very dense and some people aren't for that and so for stout lovers you love that this is the opposite so this would be the closest thing would be what was that, the dragon one uh what's the dragon one called again dragon. dragon's milk sorry dragon's milk makes a blonde version now so it has all the similarness, but it's, they make it on purpose without toasting it. So they're trying to, it's basically like treating the stout without adding any dark malts or toastiness. And it's insanely good. This is on that level, but done in a different process. So, wow. That is delicious. Thank you, Shiner. This is a solid one. If I do see any more, I'll be snagging them up. But for right now, hopefully you get a chance to try one and you get to enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you out in deciding or finding it if you didn't even know. So that'd be great just to have a heads up. I didn't even know it came out. I, I almost missed it completely. So, all right, I'm gonna keep an eye out for next time. And it is 9% alcohol by volume. So do sip with caution. Other than that, do stay cool and be safe.